Well, as you can see in this picture by the green green signal on the main, I have successfully attached a non-Atlas signal to the Atlas signal control board. And this is an NJ International uh, signal head that I've mounted on this um, signal bridge. And I've hooked it up to a new version of their um, signal control board. And I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, and what you're going to need for this project is here's our new board here. This is the new Atlas single control board. One of these guys right here. Actually, let me get back here where you can see it better. One of them guys. And we're also going to need one of these guys right here. right there and that's going to be this little wire here that you're going to solder to the to, to the end of the signal you also need one of these and I'm using one of these NJ International guy right there. NJ International signal head. Okay, and this is common anoid. Right, right, right. Where's the signal head? Here is your signal head right here. Right here. And the first thing I did was cut the the uh, the re resistors off of this because you don't need it because the Atlas boards have resistors. So. Now this comes with two cables. This is the second cable it, it comes with. They're different colors than the first cable. The first cable I've already used on the um, you know on the on the setup because I basically put it all together first, make sure it worked. And uh, these are the um, the blue is would be the green on the other cable. Uh, the orange would be the red on the other cable. The brown would be the yellow on the other cable. And of course, the gray, I didn't put any tape on there. That's the black. Okay, that would be the common. All right. And of course, here you have on this thing, you have white's the common, and then you have the three colors here for each light on the signal head. As you can see, my common came unsoldered, so I got to solder this back on here. So I'll be back after I do that. So I got my wire, and I have soldered my common wire onto the signal. I've repaired that. Now we're going to hook this up all to these wires here. And again, this is the second one in the package, so the colors of the wires are, are different. Normally, this wire. Normally the brown wire is yellow, the blue wire is green, the orange wire is red, and the gray wire is common. Okay? So, first thing we'll do is we'll grab the green wire here. This green wire here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get some shrink tubing here. I'm going to solder these up here. As you can see, solder this up here. Should have this on a thing, but this is good enough for now. There we go. Just tin it a little bit. And it's all set. See, the, the brown is normally the yellow, so I soldered it to the yellow, and I put shrink tubing on all these wires. Before I start, so now I can bring that over. Bring the shrink tubing down here like this. Little dinky wires. Okay.
boy. And there we go. Let me hit this with this real quick. There we go. Now let me do the the other three. And I'll be back. Okay, here we go. And here we got them all soldered together right here. You can see here. Now here's this. Here's the the board. Bring the board into play. And I'm gonna open up my package here of my Number 7000050, the, this is a single attachment cable. I don't want you to make any boards. And you're going to use the end that has the yellow, green, red, and black wire. And this side here is for, for, for something else, I'm not sure. But you now take the end of this guy right here that you've just soldered onto the end of your thing and the end of your signal. Plug that into there, like that, and then you take this end into here, and now you can hook up your NJ International signal right here, head, to the Atlas signal system. And of course, wires I have here, this is, these three wires here go to the, the detector, and these go to the power bus. Okay, one other thing is this little guy right here, the centerpiece, the, this center right here, this has to be pulled out because this is set up for common cathoid and you have to move it over to one, just like that. And now this board is set up for common anoid. So now this will work. If not, it wouldn't work because it's, it's reversed. So, just thought I would add that. So that's real important and when you use other uh, other manufacturer signals you got to um, make sure you know which um, which way they're wired common anode or common cathode to change that okay uh, I've taken to the power and I've hooked up power feeders from from a DC power supply looks like a uh, transformer and now I'm going to turn it on see what happens when we turn it on that signal should come on and it does I don't know if you can see that let me get it up here closer up here you can see that the signal is showing green is on Okay, here's the, uh, the um, signal control board in place, and as you can see, the red LED is on, so it's hooked up. Um, and uh, what you see here is, here's where I have the, the signal hooked into this here, which is one of the new versions of the, um, the, the signal hookup cable here. You got to get this one to fit into the new boards and I was lucky enough to find two of them at a hobby shop in Maine when I was up there on vacation a couple weeks ago and um, they had two of them left so I bought them and as you can see there's two plugs here this this one here is for the for the the um, regular uh, signals the um, to hook the signals to and this here um, I'm really not sure why this is on here. This this second plug is on here for. I haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, that's basically how you hook it up with this. So and it works. The only other thing is this one right here in the center. I believe is the is is the polarity. I um, mean, I had to change this from common an from common cathode to common anode because the NJ International signals. Are common anode, and the 
um, atlas ones are common cathoid. So for it to be common cathode, you'd cover over this jumper. That's the way it was when I moved it over to here. So now the common anoid signals work. Then the older boards will not do that. So if you're hooking up a, a, a different signal manufacturer, you got to use one of the new boards here, one of the new um, signal control boards from, from Atlas. And here's my power in. And I'm running the power, obviously, from my bus. And here's the power in here. Um, detector. And this is the um, logic to the DIN, which is uh, detector in here. The white wire. So this is basically hooked up the same as the, the older boards. Um, and the connection cables, too, from the... Uh, from the separate boards are the same size. So this I will eventually run down here and hook it into a an older version of the signal control board. Anyway, that's that. Okay, here we are. Let's see what happens when I start a train up in the block here. I should change to red. And it does. Now obviously I haven't gapped. I need to put a gap right there, which I know. The gap runs all the way back to the other end of the if I slow this down and stop it. There we go. Just went over the gap. Obviously, I got to regap and back to green. So she works. Awesome. And that is an NJ International signal head.